Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be looking very briefly on our topic Decentralized Application, the apps. This is a very important topic and it will come more often. This is not that much of a complex thing. So let's have a look. This is where we left in the previous video. We got the smart contract, networks of computers with smart contracts, smart contracts running on the blockchain along with the transactions. Now what is exactly the apps or decentralized application? It is an interface for people to interact with the application. Well, it is an interface for people to interact with something in the blockchain. So a dApp contains a front-end and a back-end. Here the back-end is the smart contract. In a way, you can think of smart contract as an API, application programming interface for application to interact with the blockchain. Suppose if you want to create an application on phone, then you will need to interact with the server to access the information. And to do so, we require an API. So you can think of smart contract as a way for application to interact with the blockchain, put things into the blockchain, and take things from the blockchain. Then we have front-end for people to interact with. So this is what decentralized applications are. They use smart contract to interact with the blockchain, and they allow users to interact with itself too. Now if you look at the real-world example, here we have Steemit. It's a social media site like Twitter, but the difference is, it is decentralized. All the informations here are stored in the blockchain, there is no any central servers. You can check it out. You can even earn digital tokens here, posting contents and getting upwards. There are also lots of other additional applications. You just need to google, you will get hundreds of lists. And so this is a brief learning on the app. And on this note, I will see you in the next video.